What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys a Black Ops 2 game where I go 22 and I think 22 or 23 and 9 on studio. Um, I use a vector again. Obviously you've already seen me pick my class by this point. Um, so I'm s first, first before I start talking about any other thing, I would like to apologize for no uploads for the last two days. Um, I was on vacation all last week, and everything that you saw last week was scheduled uploaded, so I didn't have the chance to record stuff. Uh, I got back Friday, and I didn't have the chance to record anything for Saturday. Um, so I just decided I would go for gameplay for most of the day Saturday, and then. That way I would have stuff for next couple weeks after that. So, um, yeah. Um, so, again, sorry about that, but I only missed two days. I've been pretty good so far. Um, so, I wanted to talk about loyalty. Um, so, loyalty is one of the biggest things in my friendships. Um, I like to be, have friends that no matter what you do, they'll be there for you no matter what it is, no matter what time of the day it is, no matter what. And my dad is currently waiting for a transplant. I'm not going to go into detail on what kind or anything, but he's waiting for a, a very risky transplant. Nate and Gino told me that they are willing to wake up at 4 a.m. if that's when I get the call and stay up with me for the full 12 hours that my dad's in the OR and just keep me calm, try to keep, take my mind off of things and that's that's being such a great friend saying that even like even offering something like that is huge they said no matter what day it is school night, they, Christmas Eve they don't care um, and that's great. Honestly, everybody needs to have a friend like that because if you don't have a friend like that, then you're um, you're kind of screwed when it comes to a situation where you need somebody to talk to and no one's there for you. It's sad that no one's there for you. Um, and loyal, like the reason that has something to do with loyalty is. No matter what happens the day before, Nate, Gino, and I get into a huge argument, we'll put our differences aside in a situation like that and all come together as friends and help each other out in an emergency situation like that. So that's, that's really a loyal friend. No matter what happens the day before, they'll be there for me. Um, for example, last week Nate got pissed off at me for some. I forget what I did. Uh, I said I made a stupid comment, or and I deserved. He just he had every right to be mad at me for whatever I said. I just I remember that thinking that afterwards, but then some stuff happened the next day, and I needed somebody to talk to, and he was right there. So that's huge for anybody if you have a friend to talk to who's loyal and willing to listen. I know I've said that earlier. I'm sorry. Uh, I know I'm kind of being repetitive, so I'm going to try to stop that. But, um, yeah, so I don't really, un like, understand how people can trust other people who aren't loyal. Like, the Skylar Niece situation, her friends weren't loyal to her. Ooh, that nice random grenade I just got. Um, her friends weren't loyal to her. They treated her like dirt, and she took it, and it, it ultimately caused her death, really. Like, I'm not trying to start anything or talk about sensitive topics, but if she hadn't trusted the right people, or if she had trusted the, the right people instead of trusting the wrong people, like, I think their names were Sheila and Rachel, the, her killers, then that wouldn't have happened. Um... Or she hasn't snuck out. So, yeah. That's not really being loyal. It's being a bad friend uh, in that situation. Or, uh, like, even leading up to it, she should have noticed it. So, anyway, guys, comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It'll be down in the description below. As always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.
and 22, by the way.